And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Ghost and the Virgin Mary and was made man. <coughs> These lines from the Profession of Faith tell of the great mystery we are about to celebrate, the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus Christ was begotten of God the Father before all worlds, that is, before the creation of our world and before the creation even of the angels. Before the beginning, Jesus Christ was begotten of God the Father. And then, in the course of human history, he was born of the Virgin Mary. At a particular point in time, just over 2,000 years ago, the eternal Son and Word of God was born of the Virgin Mary and became a man. He became as human as we are, but without ceasing to be God. He became the God-man, the Theanthropos. Today I want to tell you about three events recorded in the Old Testament. Many times in the Old Testament we read that God spoke to his people by angels or in visions and dreams. But, according to the Orthodox tradition, there are three very special occasions recorded in the Old Testament which we know as the three Theophanies of Jesus Christ. A theophany means an appearance or a manifestation of God. And we use this name for the feast we celebrate on the 6th of January. These three theophanies in the Old Testament are actual appearances of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, many centuries before his incarnation and birth. The pre-incarnate Son of God appeared in a veiled form visible to human eyes, but not entirely clear. The first of these theophanies is the visit of the three men to Abraham and Sarah at the oak tree at Mamre. Three strangers appeared before the door of Abraham's tent. Abraham bowed himself to the ground, and he addressed just one of the men as my Lord. Abraham called his wife Sarah, and they prepared a meal for the three men. And you will see this depicted in an icon we call the Hospitality of Abraham. The three men are shown as angels, Abraham and Sarah are shown serving them, and you'll see the oak tree in the background. We then read in the book of Genesis, the three men, the, sorry, the men went towards Sodom, but Abraham stood yet <coughs> before the Lord. The men, that is two of them, are the two angels who went to rescue Abraham's nephew Lot and his family uh, from the sinful city of Sodom before God destroyed it. But the third man, whom Abraham addressed as my Lord, he was the Son of God. And writing about this event, St. Romanos said, When God appeared to Abraham as he sat by the oak of Mamre, he was seen as a man, but he did not know him as he was, for he could not have borne it. But now for us it is not so, but in his own person, for the word has become flesh. The second theophany is when Christ appeared to Jacob, Abraham's grandson. We read in Genesis that a man appeared to Jacob, and the man wrestled with Jacob throughout the night. The man was not overpowering Jacob, and then he touched Jacob's thigh and caused him to limp. Day was breaking and Jacob would not let the man go. Jacob demanded a blessing and the man declared that from then on Jacob would be known as Israel. Jacob asked the man for his name but the man would not give his name and Jacob then realised that he had encountered God and he said, I have seen God face to face. The third theophany and the one especially remembered in the hymns on this, the Sunday before Christmas, is recorded in the book of Daniel. 
Jerusalem had been captured by King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, many of the Jewish people were led away into what we call the Babylonian captivity. And you may have noticed a reference to that in, in the Gospel reading today. And among the captives were the prophet Daniel and the three holy children, Ananias, Azariah, and Mesiah. They found favour with the king and he gave them high offices in Babylon. And then one day King Nebuchadnezzar ordered a huge golden statue or idol to be made. It was decreed that when people heard the sound of trumpets and other instruments, they would fall down and worship the golden idol. Certain Babylonians, who were jealous of the high standing of the three children, seized the opportunity of denouncing them to the king, as they, of course, refused to worship the golden idol. The king was very angry with Ananias, Azariah, and Israel, and because they refused to worship the golden idol, they suffered the fate commanded by the king. They were bound and cast into a fiery furnace. But the flames only destroyed their bonds. They walked in the midst of the fire, praising God. King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace, and he saw not just the three men he had thrown in, but four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. These three Theophanies, the three men received by Abraham, the man who wrestled with Jacob, and the fourth man in the fiery furnace, these show us that Jesus Christ existed before being born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem. In these accounts of the Old Testament, Jesus appeared in a veiled, mysterious way. But these events serve to remind us that the baby in the manger in Bethlehem is the eternal word of God. The patriarchs, Abraham and Jacob and the three holy children, lived many hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem. But God rewarded their faith by giving them glimpses of his son, who would be born many centuries later to redeem their people and, in fact, the whole world. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.